Hey guys, hope you're doing fine. Today in this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can buy a domain name for your website or business. So buying a domain name is one of the first steps to launching your website. By finding, registering the perfect domain for your site can feel uh, like a task if you have never been through the process. Fortunately, domain registration is not difficult. You just need to follow some simple steps. So throughout my career, I have bought a lot of domains, too many to count. Some of those experiences were significantly better than others. So in this video, I will explain my two favorite ways to buy a domain. Uh, one of those methods will even get you a free domain name. For the first year, I will also cover how to buy a premium domain name and uh, one that aren't for sale. So no matter what you want, what domain you want, by the end of this video, you will know how to buy it. So how, first of all, this is my favorite way how to buy a domain name with Bluehost. So Bluehost is a website hosting provider. And in fact, they are one of the most reputable and reliable web hosts on the market today. So more than 2 million sites across the globe are hosted by Bluehost. So, but Bluehost also provides domain name registration services. If you use Bluehost for web hosting, you will also get a free domain for one year. So since you need a hosting and plan anyways, so you can use Bluehost as one stop shop to bundle hosting and domain registration into a simple single package. So this is a great option for beginners starting a new website from scratch. So, so let me tell you how you can buy a domain from uh, Bluehost. So you have to just uh, navigate through the bluehost.com. This is for the first step is easy. Just make sure you have a, over to the Bluehost website and then from then you can scan the menu and click hosting at the top of the screen. And then uh, I will say it again, click hosting. Do not click on the domain menu option. So if you click on the late letter, you won't be bundling your hosting plan with domain registration, which defeats the purpose of using Bluehost and you won't get the domain uh, name for free. So then you have to choose a hosting plan and the hosting menu will expand and present you with the three different options, just shared hosting, dedicated hosting, VPS hosting. So shared hosting will be the best option for 99% of people starting new websites. So go ahead and select that from the expanded drop-down menu. So you will be still be able to bundle your hosting plan and domain registration and get a free domain. So if you select dedicated or VPS, but most of you, you won't need to worry about it right now. Just click stick with shared hosting. So Bluehost offers four different shared web hosting plan. You can click from basic plus, choice plus and pro. So if you're launching a small personal site, the basic entry level plan starting at $3.95 per month, uh, that should be fine for you. But for those of you launching a website for your business, I would go with the choice plus at a minimum. So, then you have to register your domain. Once you choose a web hosting plan, Bluehost will automatically prompt you to set your domain. So you will be presented with two different options here. You have to create a new domain or use a domain you own. So you will want to use to the option of create a new domain, uh, option to search available domain. So simply enter the domain you want to buy into the search bar and choose your domain extension. It can be the .com, .net, blog, dot page, dot info, dot store, dot co, dot us, etc. So in the vast majority of cases you are going with, uh, you want to, uh, you want a dot com extension. The only reason why I consider an alternative domain extension is if dot com is taken. For, for example, if you try to buy a domain using nike.com or apple.com, those will obviously be unavailable. What a different extension might be available for the budget. So if you're set on a name, you could always get an alternative extension to the meantime while you get, figure out how to buy the .com extension. I will explain how to buy domain that have already been registered in great detail later in the next part of the video. So then you have to finalize your contract and then create an account. So the other thing is how to buy a domain name with Namecheap. The market is flooded with domain registered, but Namecheap is definitely my favorite. It's super easy for anyone to buy a domain using this register, even if it's your first time. The method is a bit more straightforward than using Bluehost, only because you're not bundling any other services. Namecheap is strictly for buying a domain. So the entire process can be completed in three steps. You have to simply visit namecheap.com. And obviously the first thing you need to make uh, do is make your way over the Namecheap website. From here, you can uh, you know, search your domain directly from the homepage. So enter your desired name into the search bar, which can be found in the center of the screen. So make sure that the register is toggled above the search bar. The transfer option is made for people who have an existing domain and want to switch to registrar. That's not for you. So then you have to click the search icon to continue. 
So then you have to choose your extension. As a domain a registrar, the name team offers an extensive list of domain extensions. You will have the option to choose from the things like dot one dot vip dot studio dot l dot xyz dot lol dot design and hundreds of other extensions. But in most cases, choosing a dot com extension will be the wise decision. So just click on the add to cart and uh, next to the extension you want and then check out. So then you have to confirm your order. When you are buying a domain directly from the domain register, you can skip all the extras you want need an SSL certificate, professional email or anything else. You will uh, you will be able to get that from your web hosting provider. So definitely make sure you have the host card enabled to protect your personal information from being available to the public. So some domain registers make you pay extra for this but name offers it free file. So then you have to turn on auto renew for your domain registration as well. Otherwise, you will have to renew it manually over here, which puts you at risk of the registration lapsing. So it's that easy. So once you confirm the order, you will be asked to create a name team account after you have to enter your payment detail and finalize the purchase and domain is yours. Boom. So then you have to, you know, now you may be wondering what are the other ways to buy a domain name. So generally speaking, there are two main ways to buy a domain name, both of which have been covered in this video and domain register and hosting product. There are, there are pros and cons to each method and the process for each one is very different. Uh, so guys, this was it for today. Hope you liked the video. And if you really like the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.